Well, on the development end of the Synchro program, we needed more than just uh, what we would use for a Mega Raid controller. Uh, we actually partnered uh, in a co-development with Microsoft. The firmware for the Synchro CS controller was one thing, to get the controllers to talk to each other. And so that required some of our A1 uh, top uh, engineers uh, to be able to pull that together. But what we needed really was the simplicity of the configuration, and that required the help from Microsoft. So they could br bring together the tools to actually build those clusters. And uh, we've been in this co-development with them ever since, and then of course the, the test process has really proven it out. all those great qualities of what you envision for the product and finally yeah. coming to fruition. A lot of immense hard work yeah. amongst different groups. I mean, you've got a lot of the, the blood, blood, sweat, and tears by engineering and marketing, yeah. as well as our partners, you know, such as Microsoft as well. Just to even get the actual game server up and running, there was so many people that I had to be intertwined with, having conversations with every day, and working with, with Winston and Tom, and just a lot of teamwork involved just trying to get it up and running. So I guess that's one of the, the key virtues of Synchro is that team aspect. Not only right. taking from a from a solution or computer standpoint, but a lot of the people to get this product to market. It, it, well, it wouldn't work without having that element in place. And uh, ultimately we have a final product that works great.